We've seen more than our fair share of sorrow. It's my job to comfort everyone who lost sons and daughters to this madness. Even when my own daughter has gone as well. I trust you're not here to add to our troubles. The Drublog have been raiding villages all over. We survived, but just barely. All I can offer my people is a place to mourn. But their children's bodies are still out there, being scavenged by Drublog. And worse. Some of our militia was out training when the attack came. When they returned, I tried to stop them. But they left for the Drublog camp, for vengeance. But they've been gone too long, and my daughter Ferwin left with them. I can't lose her, too. My daughter doesn't deserve this fate. Not in recent memory. Tanglehaven's not a large village by any reckoning, and the Drublog know we've very little worth taking. They attacked without warning and left as quickly as they came. They burnt the village. But did they actually take anything? Just lives. Nothing but lives. Thing, right? Is anyone still alive out there? back. I've been bitten. I won't have another fall for my mistakes. I, I can't say. I won't. Everything's gone wrong. But we did it to save Tanglehaven. That's all that mattered. If she knew what happened, she wouldn't call me her daughter anymore. We've... I, I've made a terrible mistake. The spring. It's all from there. I must get to it. But I'm afraid what might happen if I get scared again. Injured? I should be so lucky. I don't know if I can face the consequences on my own. The village? My mother? If you would come with me, I'd be grateful. Another comes from my blessing. Drink deep, and let the beast behind your eyes take hold. Ah, oh, but it's that fear I smell. The young Basma fears what the future holds. Her flesh is weak, but not for long. 
how ungrateful the little elf is. She took the gift willingly, and now she wishes to turn away. Her flesh and blood are mine, but I am not without mercy. Perhaps she can save someone, a mother, from the same fate. The elf child must take the heart blood from her sire. If her mother drinks of it, she may yet be saved. But there is no redemption for the child. She is mine. So, it is the end. There's no saving myself after all. My mother will never forgive me. But I don't regret saving our village. Perhaps I can save her as well. Blood from a heart. His heart. My sire. My father, the one who gave me this gift. It's his heart blood I need. But my mother's in the village, safe. How could she be in danger? No. Please, tell my mother I died. I don't want her to see the monster I've become. Maybe I can stop my father. Maybe... No! Not again! shouldn't have left the village, but I had to know if my daughter's alive. Now I don't know if I'll live long enough to see her again. Ferwin's father, Thulendor, came back after all this time, but he wasn't the same. Something changed him. He attacked me. I asked him where he'd taken Ferwin, and he bit me. Yes, and I suppose that's answer enough. I wish I could pretend I don't know what'll happen, but it's obvious, isn't it? I'll change. Eventually become a minion to her scene's will. <sighs> poor, poor Ferwin. What's he done to you, Mother? It's all gone so horribly wrong. I only wanted to protect the village, but now... Mother! I can help you, please hold on. Yes, as the Drablog gathered their forces, he promised me a way to defend the village. When the fighting started outside Tanglehaven, I couldn't control myself. Hot blood covered everything. I tore into friend and foe alike. I, I couldn't stop. It's why I couldn't go back. What if I'd lost control inside the village? All of this would mean nothing if I killed everyone. But I won't let my mother pay for my weakness. The heart blood must come from my father. Please, help me stop this. I know where to find my father. He'll be waiting near the village. But if I fight him, I may well lose control again. I can't do this without help. And my mother's in no shape to face him. You're the only one I can trust right now. Will you help? No, Ferwin! Come, my daughter. We'll hunt together. Indeed. No! You've hurt Mother for the last time! I gave her this gift. We'll be a family once more. Thank the moons we're not too late. I hope she still has enough strength to drink. No, 
The voice, it could have lied about everything. But if I don't try, we'll both be cursed. I guess it's a blessing my mother's in such a daze. I'd hate for her to know what was really happening right now. I, I don't know for sure. I'm not sure which would cause my mother less pain. I'll stay until she gets better. And the others deserve to know what I've done. I won't run like a coward. I won't be like my father. My little Thurwin, is that you? I can't see you clearly. I'm so tired, dear. I never properly thanked you for coming in when you did. I might still be hiding out there in the woods. And my mother, well, it's no use thinking thoughts like that. 